This is a cute little nightstand that I got and I saw something on YouTube with uh, Chris Donna from Bella Renevere and she did a little boho nightstand and I wanted to do something like she did and so I got her same paint colors which is from Dixie Belle and um, I just did my own little blend. It's not exactly like hers but it's similar but I liked the color combination she used. And first I cleaned this really good, and then I did a base coat, which you can see on the top, that's uh, by Dixie Belle and Pinecone. And I just used a little bit of sea spray with some of the Pinecone, just in places. I didn't put it on very thick. Then I just started blending the bottom with Dixie Belle Evergreen, which is a really bright green. And then I follow that next with a color called Kudzu, which is a really lighter green. And then after Kudzu, I used Holy Guacamole, which I really love that color. It's kind of an olive green. And then Limeade is on the top. And you can see there on the side, on the left side there from where I'm working, kind of how I blended them. I just, um, I actually use the same brush. I just have a paper towel that I keep next to me and as I go from one color to the next, I actually just wipe my brush off. Um, and then when I dip my brush in, I don't really wipe it on the edge or anything, I just dip it into the next paint. And I keep an extra brush there in case I want to mist and and go over it with the brush, but I usually don't use that one. I just find I, uh, with a little bit of that other color on there, it seems to blend better for me, but I know there's lots of different ways to blend. But you can see, um, you just kind of keep working it and do it until it's like you like it. And I don't even usually look at the sides or the back to see if it matches. I just kind of do it from what I, I think looks good on each side. So it also always seems to work out. And um, you just keep playing with it.
the top, I used holy guacamole. Uh, and then what I did when I got the top painted with that, I just used some of the limeade color, which is the very lightest green, to kind of highlight in the center. And I just, I didn't necessarily try to keep it just in the center. I just uh, kept working it until I liked the way it looked. And when you um, blend like this, where it's so wet, it's so much easier to blend the two colors and you can do it so that you, you don't have a line at all. It virtually changes the colors that you're using by combining them really into one color. So, but there's lots of different ways you can blend and for this boho look, I thought this was a good look. dry I decided to use some stamps that I have from I use some from Iron Orchid and then I also use some from Prima uh, the new one that's called Elemental Borders and I really like them and I use just black ink black ink stamp pad to stamp these colors and with the colors that I used on this little nightstand they show up really good The stamp at the top on this side is from the Elemental Borders, the new one from Prima, and it looks like lace, and I really like these stamps. And it just, uh, the main thing with stamping is you wanna just make sure that you stamp ink on the whole pad evenly as you can, and try not to shift the stamp when you uh, stamp on your piece. And here it shows me just using the ink pad upside down to stamp the ink the stamp up. And I don't use the um, hard holders, I just use my fingers, but it turns out really good. And I'll let you guys look at it and see what you think. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share with a friend. And thanks for watching.